Hello, in this video we are going to show how 2 equals 0. So, and I want us to pay attention to all the details and find out where we actually got it wrong. Now, 2 equals 2. That is okay, we have 2 equals, we can rewrite these two as 1 plus 1. And from here we can have 2 equals 1 plus the root of 1. The root of 1 is 1, so we haven't changed anything. We have 2 equals 1 plus, we can rewrite this as the square root of, instead of positive 1, we can have negative 1 times negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. And from here we can have it as 2 equals 1 plus the square root of negative 1 times the square root of negative 1. So we go ahead and we have 2 equals 1 plus the square root of negative 1 is simply i, we make use of imaginary number i, times the square root of this negative 1, we make use of another imaginary number i. So what we are having is 2 equals 1 plus i squared. Now, i power 2 equals negative 1. So that means we are going to replace i power 2 with negative 1. And that means we are going to have 2 equals 1 plus negative 1. Now, if you actually multiply this positive and this negative, you are going to have negative so we have 2 equals 1 minus 1 and 2 equals 1 minus 1 is 0 so right now this has not actually given us 2 supposed to be equals to 2 but we are now having 0 so where did we get it wrong that's what i want us to find out and drop a comment in our comment box tell me where we got it wrong now i have another interesting one here Let's also show that 1 equals i. Now we are going to do the same thing. You find out where we have gotten it wrong. Now we know that i equals i. Then from here, I can rewrite this as i equals i to the power of 1. i to the power of 1 is i. So we can rewrite this one here as 4 divided by 4. So we have i equals i to the power of 4 divided by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So from here, we make use of this identity. If you have a to the power of n or to the power of n, this equals to a to the power of n times n. So let's apply this identity right here. We can have it as i equals i to the power of 4 or to the power of 1 divided by 4. Now, if i to the power of 4, what is the value of i to the power of 4? Now, let's get back to i to the power of 2. If i to the power of 2 equals negative 1, then i to the power of 4, i to the power of 4 will simply equal negative 1 to the power of 2, which is equals to positive 1. Have you seen that? That means i is now equals to i to the power of 4, which is 1, or to the power of 1 divided by 4. Now, if we take the fourth root of this, we are going to have i equals to the fourth root of 1. And the fourth root of 1 is 1. So we have i equals 1. So tell me, where did we get it wrong? Where did we actually get it wrong? Why are we now having i equals 1 instead of i equals i? And why did we also have 2 equals 0 instead of 2 equals 2? So let's actually fix that in the comment box. Thank you and goodbye.